Artfix is a London-based social enterprise which says it wants to make art fun, affordable and accessible, and to make it possible for people to enjoy art in their everyday lives. It hosts film screenings, art battles, exhibitions and workshops, and George Neris is the founder. He joins me now. Now, you say uh, the... It suggests, perhaps, that the modern perception of art is not fun or accessible. Do you think that's the case? Well, in a sense, it isn't, because it takes so long uh, to book. Uh, you have to book in advance. Sometimes it costs a fortune. You have to wait a couple of months until you go to whatever event you have chosen, and then you might not like it. So in that sense, why not get a fix of it? Why not have the arts come where you are and whatever you're doing? Get a fix, hopefully have your life deflected a little bit and then go about a better person. And if you like it, then you might go and visit the original venue where uh, whatever is happening is happening. You have an original venue in Soho. Is that where people can go and get it immediately? Exactly. Uh, it's in the centre of Soho. I mean, football is epic. Uh, so people just pass in front of it and just see a huge screen that we have. On the screen we have on a digital um, uh, level, whatever is happening around London and whatever is happening around the store. And then there is a back room also where we're having 15-minute performances, music, theatre, dance, so people can just get a coffee, grab a coffee, see what, what is on and then go about their lives. What made you want to do this? The fact that I have been um, waiting for my girlfriend to finish her shopping uh, when we go to all kinds of uh, shops and stores and malls and there wasn't something for me to do. I mean, obviously I love arts. So I said, what if there was a store that was, I mean, where you could experience art the same way that you can experience, I don't know, shoes or ice cream. And then I said, why not? It could happen. So we found a store in the center of London. It's a, I mean, it used to be an adult store. Now it's uh, an art store. People would get in and get their fix of whatever they were getting. Now they're getting a fix of art. So what, what, made me do it was the idea that art can happen anywhere you are and whatever you're doing. You get a fix. I think that art makes you a better person, makes your life better. And, and we'll, we'll see some of your, your, your shots exactly. now. Tell us about it. So, um, the store is small and that goes to show that art can be anywhere. I mean, for example, this is drawings that people do on their cups of coffee. We're selling coffee. And there's a small exhibition space. This is our exhibition space. It's no more, no bigger than 35, 40 square meters. Everything is happening there and in the front of the store as well. So this is an exhibition, but this exhibition only lasts for uh, some hours. It's not forever. It's just for a day. And then tomorrow there's something else on. And there is music. There is live music for 15 minutes. And then if you come back after an hour, you want another coffee or whatever, you get uh, a seen from a theatre play and then you get something else. So there's always something happening um, in the store, in the back, and in the front you don't even have to uh, bother, you just sit there, you have your coffee and uh, here's the front of the store and uh, you get to see uh, on the screen what uh, is happening around London in the Tate, in the British Museum, in small big galleries or even next door. One thing we talked about, um, I mentioned in the introduction to this, was art battles. Yes. Tell me a little about that and, yeah. and how they work. Okay, so we are trying to make the arts, as I said, more fun. Um, but actually, this was an idea of the 60s, you know, where people believed, and I think they still believe that painting or whatever is happening by itself. So in front of people, we have, we bring one artist against the other. It could be two painters, like this is the case, or it could be a painter and a poet, or it could be a musician against a dancer. And we have a common uh, theme. We have a model, usually. Uh, sometimes it's uh, the store manager is. Uh, so we have some consistency. And then uh, within half an hour, they have to create a work of art. And then it, this is happening in front of people. So people see the whole process. They might ask what is happening. There is like a discussion. It's a very open thing. And then in the end, people just vote by, by, by clapping who they prefer. And the winner gets to present their art in the Artfix store. Uh, this happens every Tuesday. It's very popular. It's usually sold out. Uh, obviously, it's, uh, it's, it's both a performance and an experience. So the artists have to be performers and at the same time uh, do their own uh, thing. And the response from the public has been good? Well, it's been tremendous in the sense that, I mean, as I said, football is epic, so people just are curious of what we're doing. But the good thing is that they're coming back again and again and again, which means that we're doing something good. We are doing what we set out to do, which is change their everyday lives 
just a little bit or more. <laughs> uh, George Neris, thank you very much for joining us. The Art Fix store is in Soho if you want to go and check it out. Now,